This is just a video I want to do real quick. It's not going to be super scientific or accurate or anything like that. I just want to do it just for the heck of it because we can. Um, you probably see my gel block here is cut up. We just did a video shooting some 22 rounds through it. Um, but I want to hit it with bird shot and see what it'll do. And that's why I say it's not going to be real scientific because I'm going to be hitting it multiple times instead of having a fresh block each time. Um, but maybe we'll be able to gather something from it anyways. Uh, regardless it's gonna be fun so I'm gonna start with seven and a half then we'll hit it with six five and then four and then I might hit it with some number four buck I have too so I'm just gonna go back here a few yards squat down and hit it hope for the best all right so obviously we got some steel back here but this is a steel target shooting range okay uh, we come out here shoot all the time with pistols and whatnot steel targets So if you're gonna be one of those people that says I'm stupid because I'm shooting bird shot in the direction of steel Well, then you have obviously have no clue what goes on at a shooting range It'll be fine. Trust me So I'm just gonna use my Weatherby Reaper here It's uh, you know open bore or whatever tactical shotgun Just to spray at this and see what happens. And I'm gonna aim a little bit high so my bucket doesn't take that many BBs so like I said, we'll go from smallest to largest, so I'm going to start seven and a half, then we'll do six, and then five, and then four, and, and then maybe some number four buck that I got. Crappy part, I knew those were gonna fall down. You see that? So we'll try to get these and yeah, definitely scrape the top. The BB's rolling around. But uh that'd be the front. Can you get the uh tape measure? So, so your number six I can tell you from measuring it previously that that is about four to five inches there. Go ahead. Yep. Between four and five is where most of them went. I think this one only went so far because they skimmed. And probably the same with this. These ones clear back here. That's because they didn't enter till about right here and they were traveling slightly downward that's the only reason they went that far so you're uh yeah you can see i skimmed it clear back here too so right here is clearly your main group that's they're gonna go about four or five inches I don't know how well this is gonna work because they keep falling apart <laughs> that had quite a bit more pop to it that first one was low brass that one was high brass with I believe a uh, bigger payload definitely thumped a lot more uh, oh well you know because of the molds on the top you can kind of you can see what's supposed to go where because of these ribs Just due to the nature of the mold that I put it in, I can see what goes where. And then there's that space right there. So, about the same, honestly, it looks like. I just put more in that 405 range. Of course, a few more got back here. I can even feel the bumps on these because they came in high, like I said, dug down. 
So about the same result. So I'm actually going to skip number five and go straight to four then since six didn't do much more than seven and a half. Five's not going to do much more than six. So we'll go ahead and hit it with uh, number four shot. Now the seven and a half shot was low brass. The sixth shot I just did was high brass. This number four is low brass. So you have to pay attention in the beginning of the video if you want to see, you know, the payload and velocity and all that. But uh, this is a low brass now. But with that being said, number six high brass didn't really go any further than number seven and a half low brass. So doesn't make too terrible much difference. It You get a little higher velocity. But that's about it. But anyways, this number four is going to be low brass. I think we're screwed. All right, well, I don't know about penetration, but number four definitely had a lot more energy, as you can see. Even flugging that big back chunk clear back here. Let's see if I can get this put back together. All right, well, that's pretty much impossible to put back together there because it just blew this front piece and second piece up. Um, there should be one more slice here and then the front piece, and then that would be it. So, your uh, number four there, let's see what I can see. There's, there's, those are number four, they're much larger. I'm sorry, my finger was in the way. So, and then there's some. Not too many really any further. Again, there's these few stragglers that made it further because they came in through the top like that, or they skimmed through the top. So, again, it didn't go much further. You can see there's a big old number four there that was definitely in the whole block. So, you do get a little bit more penetration with number four, but not much. Looked like about an inch more on average, number four over seven and a half. Six didn't really go further at all, even though they're larger. So now I'm going to decide what to do from here because <laughs> uh, this block's definitely done for. Alright, just before we go any further, I'm definitely going to revisit this and do it proper where uh, I'll show each shot in a fresh block. This was mostly just for fun, so we'll definitely revisit this and do it proper and get actual results. Um, but since this is all destroyed now, since it was basically just for fun anyways, uh, I kind of just <laughs> push this back together and uh, I'm going to hit it with uh, number four buck now and watch this thing explode. And if we're lucky, we might catch some number four buck back here. So it's definitely going to be easier for it to penetrate the front now than when it was together. There's also the possibility of all these in the way. It's going to contact some of these through the way, so it might reduce the penetration a little bit as well. So we might actually be able to catch some. So there's the number four. It's just uh, the S&B 4 buck, uh, I believe it's saying there's 27 pellets in there. So, get one of these loaded up. Oh yeah, look at that. And we'll blast this thing. I'm going to leave this one zoomed out because there's going to be a lot more stuff going on. All right, well, what I'm mostly interested in is if we caught any. Yep. There's one there. Yep, there's a whole bunch of them. Get a light on this. We'll pluck them out, too. And there's definitely a, several in there. None of them exited the back. And I didn't say, I don't think, in this video, it, 
that's about a 14 inch block it's not a 16 or 18 inch it was just a 14 inch block so even with that damage up front which should allow them to penetrate a little more easily they still didn't exit the block they still went about 12 13 inches here because it's about 13.75 clear of the back I mean, you're probably already seeing them. Like I said, I'm about to pluck them out here too. But all right, so you guys come closer. In case any of you guys are interested in this video, what these BBs look like, those are gonna be shit. That's gonna be your seven and a half. That's a six, so it's slightly bigger. Your four shots right here. That's a number four. So seven and a half, six, four, bird shot. And then we uh, pluck one of these out. That is number four buck. I also have one buck, which will be a little bit larger still. And then of course you got double up buck and triple up buck, but uh, there you can see the size and the ones that we did here today. Yeah! <laughs> so like I said, this is just kind of for fun. Not anything real scientific or anything. I had a blast doing it. Hopefully you had a blast watching it. Uh, but I'll definitely revisit this. Like I said, we'll do it proper where uh, I have a block for each shot. This pretty much gives you an idea of what you can expect, but eventually I'll be redoing it. But anyways, I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you don't want to miss anything else that I post, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Click all. You'll be notified when I post. Catch you on the next one. Ready? Yep. Good. A little bonus footage. I'm going to hit it with this one ounce slug. What's left down there, that back piece? Alright, thanks for watching.